Danny, could you tell us the trial story? Please, please. All right, you kids take a seat, and I'll get the trial book. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Once upon a time not long ago, when men got arrested for doing no-nos, the laws were stern and justice stood, and people were behaving like they ought to good. There lived a strange man who was misled by some other strange men, and this is what they said. Listen here, Kay, you're under arrest, so hurry up now and get on your best. Kay thought, this can't be serious. These thugs watching me had to be delirious. Till they took him to their boss with the name Mr. Inspector. He was no help, just another Mr. Rector. They sent him to work to wait for the Sunday hearing. He kissed his neighbor girl she was loving. When Sunday came, he had to walk to make his trip. But little did he know, he needed a ship. He arrived at the hearing, it was really ghetto. The men in the trial were like Othello. Each side thought the other was crazy. What they thought of Kay was kinda hazy. He got on stage and started to preach. He called every man in there a little leech. Then he ran out the back door and met the guard and his wife, who let men at her with disregard. He escaped the place, choking on the smog, and walks in on his first strangers being whipped like dogs. He pleads with the whipper, please let them go. No, no, I'm gonna whip them till they don't scream no more. Kay ran to his uncle Carl for a smile. He got a lawyer whose girl, Lenny, had him for a while. This floozy really loves her, a bad boy. But her jumping from K to block leaves K a sad boy. The painter gives an option. The painter tells K to exercise caution. Was surrounded by girls on his way up, ran back to his lawyer and said, What up? You're not doing much for my acquittal. Not a, nope, zilch, not even a little. He fired his uncle's friend, and their acquaintanceship came to a swift end. A man from Italy calls on Mr. K. He is to show the man around today. The Italian misses his fake date. K arrives at the cathedral and waits, growing hate. He wanders around and converses with a man of God. This chaplain begins acting very odd. He tells K his trial is going wrong, so he lets the man talk and he starts to spurt on. What the man said left K astounded. Before long, the main man got surrounded. Two distinguished men came after him. Joseph K's chance of living is wearing thin. And this is the way I must end this dream. The men stab Joe K and still hear him scream. This ain't funny, so don't you dare laugh. Just another man on the sad path. Good night.